Hello, visuals, and welcome back to our, welcome back to the Visual Guys Pokemon Furs of the day. The week we talk about anything. Do, 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 do. Digimon, I am hilarious with the most horrible toothache right now. Soothe me, Doctor Strange, with your magical powers. Soothe me with your great Funko Pop coffee head. But it's time for another Pokemon Evolutions uh, review. Spoiler heavy review. Episode 2 is up. I can't remember the name of this one, actually. I haven't got, last time I had it on the background, now I've got South Park. It was episode two, though. It was the one with Lily and Nebby shenanigans. Uh, and we're, we're going to talk about that crack. But before we get started, visuals, let me know what you're thinking of these reviews, even though this is episode two, in the comments below. Should we continue? I'm guessing there's going to be this, this complete guess. I don't know if this has been announced. Or I feel like maybe it has been announced and I've just seen it somewhere and I'm playing off as if it's my brilliant idea. There's going to be 15 episodes. I think so it's 15 weeks of stuff we could do and again there'll be breaks in between because it's not episode then review it's episode and whatever then review uh, chuck it up as and when we want let me know how we can structure it better how we can break down each episode because each episode is between like six and eight minutes long they're not very long at all uh, and again it's kind of stuff just like episode one um, and I'm pretty sure probably throughout all of it uh, stuff that we've already explored just in a different medium Yes, we see stuff taking place inside of the events of Ultra Moon uh, as opposed to Ultra Sun. Well, it's, it's Sun and Moon, Ultra and Ultra Moon. It's a shenanigans that happens there. Um, we see the uh, the Lily and Nebby relationship, which is a really cool relationship. I, I enjoyed the dynamic. I enjoyed Lily as a character. I thought she was going to get a bit annoying and repetitive, but she turned out to be quite cool. You know, nervous about Poker when she protected Nebby. The sh uh, shenanigans are going on with her mother at the... Um, Ava Paradise, you know, Ultra Beast, whatnot, carry on. The crows must come in, little bastard. But she, more importantly, it's her getting Nebby, uh, taking him to the altar, you know, doo -doo, playing the old doo -doo 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 -doo, can't remember what it's called now, the flute fucking thingy, doo -doo 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 -doo, and, and summoning uh, this, whatever it may be, to spawn Lunala. Hashtag Team Lunala, Solgaleo fans, you can, you can, well, you can just hang around. I like Solgaleo, I'm just hashtag team. Lunala. Uh, but yes, it's all about Lily and the story of her and Nevi and uh, protecting Lunala. But this time it ends on pretty much, a, a, well, we, we know how it would go afterwards because, like I said, we've played the game. But it's, it's a cliffhanger in terms of an episodic thing. After we see, you know, the, the iconic scene of the Spearows attacking Nevi from the bag, the fallout with her mother, uh, mother Gladian and that being there, um, fucking dickhead team skull lead, I can't remember his fucking name now. Um, and all that shenanigans happening. Uh, we see them at the altar. She's able to, um, to, I know we see, sorry, before we get started, before we get there, we see her mother, L L Lusamine, uh, open up the altar to a beast wormhole and get sucked through it. She banishes Lily, don't call me mother or not. Shenanigans, proper shit, mum. Not that I'm the one to judge, I'm, I am nobody's mother. See all that carrying on shenanigans, and we see Lily taking Nebby, forward into Cosmoum, uh, Cosmoum, Cosmoum, yeah, Nebby. Cosmo, Cosmo, yeah, and then eventually be becoming Lunala in in the in the moonlight, coming down, oh, absolutely beautiful, and elegant. But then we see the the the, uh, the wormhole open up again, and out comes Necrozma, the big bad dickhead himself. I can't stand the Ultra Beast. The guy in the doll, uh, Poipul, cool as fuck. You cool with me because you cool with Ash. The rest of them just go back to Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You look like Yu-Gi-Oh monsters. But anyway, as a story, it's quite cool. And a concept, it's amazing. I've never disagreed with that. It's just Ultra Beasts themselves. Are, yeah. See Necrozma come out and we see this awesome, one of the best, me personally, I don't know why I love this so much, one of the best animated Pokemon battles I have ever seen in my entire life. I fucking thoroughly enjoyed this. Like I said, we already knew how it was going to happen anyway, um, and what was going to happen, but the, the way they animate this battle with, whether it be the attacks from Lunala or the attacks from Necrozma hitting in the middle, the animation between them both colliding, just looked flawless and smooth and slick and clean. It was, it was fucking fantastic. Um... And then eventually, New Lunala is stopped. Necrozma is formed to make dust, to make du not dusk main, uh, dusk winds, dusk wing, dusk wings, Luna, dusk wing. Is that right? No, not dusk wing. Uh, Lu Luna wing, Luna wing. No, not Luna. Um, Ultra L Lunala. Fuck uh, dust. No, not dusk main. That's Sol Solgaleo. Um, yeah. Anyway, Necrozma and Lunala. Fuck out, oh, shit, Pokemon fan. Uh, they form, and this episode is fucking brilliant because it's it's um, the, this uh, version of Necrozma, uh, the fusion with Lunala, getting away and ending with Lily and said whoever protagonist is um, uh, at the time, uh, whether your character, it's it's us as a player. Um, seeing it go over the distance and it just ends. So I don't know if episode the next one, episode three, will be a follow up to them stopping Necrozma, uh, re, re, you know, splitting the two, getting Lunala back, 
or if it will be a continuation of a new story, because again, we already know what happens. Us as a character itself, ourselves who have played the games, have stopped Necrozma and the shenanigans. It was shit the first time they revealed Necrozma, though, wasn't it? But he just sort of found him in um, the start of Thingy Island, and he's just there, and you're like, ah, oh, for the triangle, black triangle thing, whatever. Again, that, that, that's the episode end, that's over and done with. And what a fucking fun episode. I, I loved everything we got from Sun of the Moon, from the games to the TCG. I know the games were hand holy, but I personally really enjoyed them. TCG was amazing. Um, the artwork of, of um, the, the, the art style of the, the, the Sun of the Moon games, I really enjoyed that. The story itself, um, even like I said, I know I didn't like them. The Ultra Beast story was cool. And this was great. This definitely gets so many ticks in the box and a massive hat off because of that battle between Lunala and Necrozma. Such a beautiful, uh, beautifully animated battle. It was fucking great. I don't know why I loved it so much. Just check it out and let me know what you think in the comments below. But yes, this is this is a 10 out of 10 episode. What a great thing to do because so far they've always come out when I've been on night shift. Um, so I've sat on my break and just up so I watched them. You know, have a smoke at the back, have a coffee and watch them at work. Um, so, so fun. 10 out of 10. Probably better than the Leon one, even though the Leon one was great because we had that really heart-to-heart, -heart, emotional, beautiful moment between Charizard and Leon. Hello, phone. It was just, it was just absolutely awesome. It was ultra. <laughs> Go on. We'll put your lols in the comments. But yes, visuals, a straight up 10 out of 10. Great episode. You'll thoroughly enjoy it. Massive spoilers. Again, I don't know if you can spoil these because if you played the game, you're going to watch these if you played the games and if you're Pokemon fans. So it's not really too spoiled. But 10 out of 10, amazing. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what you think of these reviews. Are they fun? Are they cool? Should we do the Pokemon Thursday? Should we stop where we are? Should we get back to the usual weird shenanigans? Let me know. But visuals, there we go. That was Pokemon Thursday. That was Pokemon Evolutions Episode 2. Spoiler heavy review. 10 out of 10. Lunala vs. Crozma, amazing. Apart from that, visuals, you guys are literally the fucking best. We're we'll keep being you. And keep on uh, keeping it.